With Hurricane Florence fast approaching, Puerto Rico Governor Ricardo Rossello has been using the impending storm to bring up President Donald Trump's response to Hurricane Maria last year. However, no sooner had Rossello opened his big mouth, some very compromising photos surfaced. Now, he's got some explaining to do. It is hurricane season once again, and while the nation braces for the landfall of Hurricane Florence, we remember the devastation Hurricane Maria wrought on Puerto Rico last year. Maria is regarded as even deadlier than Hurricane Katrina in 2004, which left approximately 2,000 people dead. Nearly 3,000 deaths in Puerto Rico are being attributed to Maria, according to reports. Puerto Rico's government raised its official Hurricane Maria death toll to 2,975 on Tuesday in the wake of a new estimate from researchers. The new figure is 46 times larger than the previous toll the Puerto Rican government released in December 2017, when officials said 64 people had died as a result of the storm. It comes on the same day researchers from George Washington University revealed findings from a study on storm-related deaths commissioned by the U.S. Commonwealth's government. This is unprecedented devastation, Governor Ricardo Rossello told reporters. But the new death toll is only an approximation, not a concrete list of names, Rossello said. Moving forward, he said, officials will continue to investigate deaths from the storm and refine the official tally. This number can change, he said. It could be less, it could be more, as time passes, source, CNN. The United States stepped up with massive amounts of aid and money to help the struggling economy of Puerto Rico rebuild after the devastation. In fact, in October of last year, the president signed a $36.5 billion emergency aid, flood disaster relief bill that included $1.27 billion to help Puerto Rico rebuild. President Trump on Thursday signed a $36.5 billion disaster relief package designed to aid victims of a string of devastating hurricanes and wildfires, according to the White House. The Senate sent the bill to the president's desk on Tuesday with a 82-17 vote, following the House's passage earlier this month. The package is the second of its kind in the past two months. Lawmakers and administration officials have said more money will be needed to help recover from hurricanes Harvey, Irma and Maria. The latest aid measure includes $18.7 billion for the Federal Emergency Management Agency's Disaster Relief Fund, $16 billion to address the financially strapped National Flood Insurance Program and $576.5 million to address wildfires in the western U.S. It also provides $1.27 billion for disaster food assistance for Puerto Rico, sourced the Hill. But, despite all of this, as usual, the Trump administration has not received any credit for its efforts. When President Donald Trump declared his efforts to help Puerto Rico rebuild an unsung success, the liberal media totally lost it. And, for his part, Governor Rossello is still complaining that the president's response has not been enough a year later. However, Rossello is now eating his words, or drinking them, thanks to some very revealing aerial photos which just surfaced out of Puerto Rico. As it turns out, Trump was right. The federal government did step up with aid. The local government in Puerto Rico, on the other hand, failed to follow through and get that aid to its people.